Well hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a wee drive around the Trossex because there's a good chance in a couple of weeks we might lose all these autumnal colours. And what I'm doing is I've got my long lens on and I've got a polarizer on as well so that there's some sun coming through the clouds every now and again. And what I want to do is kind of take that glare off the leaves. So there's a lot of trees in the distance that I've been taking shots of and I'm kind of shooting handheld at the moment. There was a whole bunch of ferns behind me. So I've taken a whole bunch of shots around those ferns and I've done close-ups as well, shooting at low f-stops. So, join me and let's see where this wee journey takes us today. So there's a couple of trees in front of me here um, and I've got the side of the mountain and there's a lot of silver birches <coughs> that I've got the tips, the coloured it's like the tips of the trees are all yellow and then it kind of graduates its way down to various different colours until it gets to the dark browns but there's a couple of, it looked like Scott pine, Scott's pines I'm just getting the composition in such a way that I've not got any trees on the left hand side so I've framed them uh, on their own and I keep looking for lone trees and there's one or two lone trees that are quite nice because I've got the polarizer on I've got a f4 because I want to focus in and isolate some of these trees um, it's okay for distance shots but for close-up shots I want to make sure everything else is blurred out if possible but because of the distance that might not happen I've got ISO 160 and 250th of a second quite quick because I'm shooting with a 200mm lens and I don't want any camera shake so what I'm doing is I'm just looking around I'm isolating one or two trees and anything that gets my attention I'll take those shots and then what I'll do is I'll share those images with you before I move on to the next location. Alright, so I've came here because there's some mist coming out of the tops of the trees here. So what I'm doing is I'm just focusing in on the tops of the trees and then hopefully I can catch the atmosphere with that mist coming out the tops of the trees. I'm still shooting handheld. Um, I've got my image stabiliser on and I've got a fast shutter speed. So I'm just having to keep compensate because I've got a low f-stop and a high ISO, but it's actually working for me. So what I'm doing now is I'm just turning round and I'm going to take a portrait shot and get, there's a wooden house there, so I'm going to try and get the wooden house in the bottom left hand side of the frame and then what I'll do is try and catch the mist coming out of the trees and I'm just changing my exposures there because I had a sky in and there's a bit stronger mist coming up now I'll just zoom in over here and that could be quite nice, I'll just lift that up a wee bit more so the light's coming and going so when the light's coming and going it's getting dark I'm kind of fluctuating between ISO 200 to ISO 640 right up to ISO 1000 so don't be afraid to crank up your ISO in the daylight because it still works and there shouldn't be that much noise um, so what I'll do is I'll take a couple of shots of these fir trees in front of me I'll take a couple more so the other reason that I've went for the fast shutter speed is that there's quite a bit of a breeze and what I want to do is freeze the leaves as much as possible and then that way we don't see any movement in the image right so I'll, as we go along I'll keep sharing these images every time I stop I think we're going to be rained off at some point so we'll we'll see what happens and uh, yeah I'll share the images and we'll move on to the next location All 
right, so I pulled into the side of the road and it's a safe lay-by. And as you can see behind me, there's some really nice, strong red ferns with the trees as well. So what I might do is take some shots of those red ferns and then behind there, if I walk further down the road, there was a whole array of bright yellow ferns in front of green fir trees. And the contrast of the two colours was really, really nice. So what I'll do is I'll take these images and then I'll share these images with you when I finish. What I've spotted is there's a lone tree and it's quite isolated. So if I move here and I zoom in on the tree, that could be quite a nice image. And there's quite a lot of mist coming up behind the trees, as you can see. And it's actually quite nice. So I'm just going to move down further. And then... I'll just take some shots of these bright yellow ferns that caught my eye. Oh wow. So, there's a, a bright yellow tree with the green ferns all round it and I've actually got it framed between two trees it's really really nice so I'm going to move over to the other side of the road just so I can get a wee bit closer and then I'll try and get a wee bit lower down oh wow and that could be a really nice image. So the other thing that I've done is I've given it space, even although I'm using a long lens, I've shot at 70mm, so that's given me quite a wide angle view. I've zoomed in at 200mm, so I've got a full zoom, and now I've zoomed in at 135 so we've got quite a few options to share. I'm just going in because I found a nice wee composition where I've got that tree and then there's a cluster of trees up on the right hand side. Right, well that was lovely. Right, so what I'll do is I'll jump back in the van. I'll share those images with you and uh, we'll catch up at the next location. Nipping along the side of the road here because the view in front of me, oh wow. Right, so what I can see here, it looks like a whole crown of uh, ferns and they're actually framed by these ferns straight in front of me and that could be a really nice image. That could be really nice. So I'm actually, what I was doing was coming up here to get a shot of Loch Drunky because this is a viewpoint where you can get a shot of Loch Drunky and I thought it might be quite nice with the tips of the trees so I'm just looking for a spot where here we go so I've just found a spot where I can get a nice shot of the Drunky just spotted a cluster of orange topped trees in front of me here um, I'm just put, keeping my eye open for any interest in fern formations because it's really cool that some of those greens against the browns and the yellows are quite nice and then you've got some ferns sticking out of kind of wee bushes which can also be quite nice. So, 
case in point, somebody's seen me taking photos, but there's no really any place for them to stop. Um, right, I'm actually looking for some really nice shaped trees. Because a lot of the trees up there haven't got any leaves on them. There's a lot of a leaves here. There's a nice tree behind my van. Which could be quite nice if I just get the trees in the horizon. That could be nice. And then I'm just looking further up behind me to see if there's any interesting ferns. But anyway, as usual, I'll share these images with you. over um, to have some a cup of soup and my sandwiches oh, that's really nice because the rains come on and uh, I'll just shut this door the rains come on and I'll kind of I'll sit here for 15 20 minutes just to let it pass while I'm having my sandwiches and uh, yeah, Trossex is a beautiful area. In fact, we'll need to come back here in the snow. Well, normally this is impassable in the snow, but we can get to the bottom of the Duke's Pass on at the Loch Acre side, and we can get to Aberfoyle and then walk up if need be. So, yeah, beautiful area. Um, the change, the change is happening really fast. I didn't think it would be this quick. And I thought I'd take, make the effort today because we've got quite a few family commitments over the next few weekends, so there's a good chance I might miss all the autumnal colours. So I'm hoping I'm hoping I get some decent shots today, I think. Because of the weather and the kind of flat light, it will be more looking for patterns, kind of saturating or the colours have already been saturated because you've got strong yellow, strong brown, strong greens and because it's wet the wet, the rain sat naturally saturates the look and feel of the foliage and the trees and the ferns I've got a polarizer on again which will doubly saturate it so I might I might end up having to desaturate in post processing so it doesn't look too fake but anyway, what we'll do is I'll finish my soup and my sandwiches and then we'll catch up at the next location, hopefully when the rain stops. Well, I've pulled over <laughs> to the next location and the rain hasn't stopped at all. In fact, it's got heavier. So what I can do, the rain's coming this direction so I can take some shots right inside the van so I don't need to go outside um, I've got waterproofs with me but if I'm being totally honest I can't be bothered so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay here I've actually got quite a nice view at the moment because over, if I get this right over here there's a tree a couple of trees, one's like a dead tree and then there's the, the loch, this is Loch Acre, and the loch's really, really high. So there's an old fence that's kind of creeping into the bottom of the loch on this side. We've got the hotel on that side, and then we've got Ben Ann up on my top left. So I'll take some shots, and then I'll share them with you now. So I've pulled into Ben Venue car park and what I'm going to do is I'm still keeping the long lens on and I'm going to walk to the edge of the loch. I suspect the loch's going to be really, really high 
and the beaches will be covered in water. So what I was looking for more was the distant reflections of the trees in the water. So what I'll do is I'll turn around and maybe you can see behind me. But what I'll try and do is I'll try and get as close to the water edge as I can and uh, I'll see if I can get some tree reflections in the water. Right, so I'm going to walk along the edge of the road because there's a wee outlet with a couple of trees that I passed as I was driving and if I can get close enough to the side of the road because that's why I kept the long lens on I've got a good chance of getting quite a nice shot some blue sky starting to show through so the rain's actually went off now so I'll just move in car coming back on the road because it's mucky Right, so I'll keep walking, I'll come off the side of the road when I get to that location and then we'll catch up then. i found a cracking wee spot, look at that, right next to those trees and that's the trees that I'm after. So what I'll do is I'll take a couple of shots and uh, there's also a tree here that's absolutely beautiful looking at us really lit up and there's a dark background because of the clouds so what I'll do is I'll crack on and take some shots before the rain comes back on Look how cloudy and misty that's got all of a sudden. So all that beautiful reflections that we had a minute ago now has been completely diffused by the rain. So let's head back to the van and uh, we'll find another spot. All right, so the rain's eased a wee bit. So what I've done is I've pulled in to this lay-by. I'm just going to cross the road so it's safe. And then what I'll do is I'll share with you what I've been taking images of. And that is Loch Achre. So if we zoom in. So that island a wee minute ago was really, really difficult to see because of all the mist. So that mountain up here is called Ben Venue. And... Uh, what I've tried to do is I did a panoramic shot, so I took eight or nine images or a portrait style along the way. I've taken shots of these trees so and tried to incorporate them in with the island. I've taken some shots of the berries, I don't know if they'll turn out. And then these trees here, at the side of the road, I've tried to get a couple of shots of them. So they could turn out quite nice. Um, but we'll see. And then the other thing I did was I moved up to the very end and I shot into the trees. I'll just move because I can hear a car coming. And I also took a shot at the van for the far end. And uh, hopefully that image has turned out. But yeah, this is quite a nice little spot. And the other thing I've done is I've taken shots of the trees across the road. So over the other side of the water, there were some reflections down on the left-hand side. So what I did was I walked around the other side of the barrier to the edge and I took some shots. So hopefully they've turned out. Right, I'm going to move on to the next location because I am definitely going to get beaten by the rain. It's definitely following me. So here's to the next stop.
road on the side of the road. I haven't been able to stop since we last stopped because the rain's been just crazy. So what I'm going to show you is we've pulled into a place called Milton and up the top of the hill there is a stone and it is a glacier stone but there is as ever in Scotland a folklore and a tale. So that cliff top there it is said that Samson threw the boulder from here to here and as you know Scotland's famous for its giants but it's also famous for its fairies it's also famous for its kelpies and other sea monsters um, and brownies so yeah that this area has got its own tale and that is Samson's to stone and this is part of the, F the Glen Finglass estate and as you can see the sign the sign says Samson's stone half a mile and it also says Dunmore Fort so up the top of that hill if you walk right over the back is an old Roman fort so it looks like the weather's going to beat us this afternoon so I'm going to end the video here um, because I can feel the rain starting again so here's hoping we can make a video of this and hopefully the images have worked out quite well at least one or two of them have worked out um, we've just been completely defeated by the rain I'd like to think some or one or two of them might be a wee bit atmospheric so you never know but I'll, I will end the video here because I'm absolutely going to get beaten by the rain um, so hopefully we can make a video of this if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do because you know it's free and if you press the bell notification that will let you know the next time I post a video so thanks very much for watching and here's to the next video